Welcome to the Albanian Riviera. Today we're leaving our little town of Ceparo to pick up a car and visit two of the most famous beaches in the entire Riviera. GP Beach, which is a little hard to reach but completely worth it. Very sketchy. And we also take you to the super trendy Dermy Beach before ending the day at our personal favorite beach town. Good morning guys, we finally made it to the beautiful Albanian Riviera. This area of the country is famous for its beautiful beaches and that's exactly what we're going to show you today. We are in the middle of the road as you can see because there are no sidewalks. We're trying to either hitchhike or stop the local bus to go to the town of Sarande which is like an hour and 15 minutes away and that's where we're going to pick up our car rental because this town is so small that they don't have car rental agencies. We'll show you around later in the video but for now we have to be lucky with the bus. The longer that we stay in Albania, the more we're realizing that public transportation is pretty difficult. So there's one bus that leads from a nearby town called Kemara, and that passes through Keparo, Keparo, that's where we're staying. There's no like real official timetable, so we're just hoping to see it pass by and flag it down. <laughs> if that doesn't happen, there's not a real plan B. I'm out of talking about hitchhiking. I don't know about that. I think it's totally fine to hitchhike. We'll see what happens. But hopefully we'll see the bus pass by here in a couple minutes and it'll stop for us and we'll be on the way to Saranda. Like, there's no reason it shouldn't pass, but at the same time, it's entirely possible that it doesn't pass. I have good news. We've been waiting over an hour and we were about to bail and try to find a plan B by stepping to the bakery, which is kind of like along the route to ask if there's a bus to Saranda. He very confidently said, yes, 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 10 minutes. So we'll wait it out. Hopefully he's right. That's not another example of Albanians just giving you an answer because <laughs> that's what they can do. But yeah. there's hope. There's hope. I just messaged our host too about a taxi, but hopefully this works out. It's not fine, yeah. Instead of waiting here. <laughs> Hello. Okay, thank you so much for uh, figuring it out. Plan A worked. We're on the bus. Now an hour like this through the mountains. Well, he's got seats now. And together. <laughs> One hour later, we made it to... Where are we? Saranda. Saranda. It was very dizzy in there. It is the world's like curviest road. So not easy if you get car sick. But now we have to find an ATM because we have to pay for our car rental in cash and find our car rental for the next two days. I said. Stay tuned. <laughs> At the five o'clock news. We are rocking and rolling. Finally have a car. Finally have a car. We're free to explore the Albanian Riviera. This little car, huh? Hope it makes it up the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> that was very unique. Paying cash for everything. Deposit. I never know how these work. The rental. You got the skills. Ready to go? Our first stop is one of the most famous beaches in the entire Riviera. We are super, super excited to see it because we've seen pictures and it looks beautiful. It used to be a hidden gem. It's not a hidden gem anymore, right? Based on what we read. We don't think so. We don't think so. But there's like a hike to get there and it's beautiful and it's like an hour and a half away. Now we hike to the beach. All right. <laughs> Careful, you don't have your hiking shoes on. We just started our 30 minute hike down to Giyipi Beach. We both have no clue how to pronounce it, but hopefully it's something like Giyipi. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> but yeah, it should be awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like, if it lives up to the hype. Either way, it'll be beautiful. I'm also just excited to jump into the water and cool down a little bit. It's very hot. It's pretty toasty in Albania today. I think like 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So a good day for the beach. 
There's so many, like how many people in that car? Uh, at least 12. <laughs> that is crazy. Uh, here comes another truck. That's super like sketchy. A, like a Defender. Yeah, that one was really, really like sketchy. Like it's just pure cliff here. Uh huh. Look, this is it. And they're like on top of the car. Look at this place. Beautiful. Worth it? I think so. The water looks super fresh. It's not too busy. I think we beat like the major summer crowds and it's a Thursday too, so it's not too yeah. crowded. It's a little spice of paradise. Let's jump in the water. Oh my gosh, it's sweaty. This is your first time in the Ionian Sea. Did you ever think you would say that in your life? No, oh, you're also graceful. <laughs> so good. Really good, right? You guys have no idea how hot it is. <laughs> this is great. <sighs> Crystal clear water. It's so pretty. Nice and fresh. We got to pay for sun loungers and the umbrellas. There's zero sun, but at least you don't get sunburned. And you save money for beer. It was really cool. Look at baby giraffe. <laughs> 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 I have to roll it to our belongings. <laughs> if you're going to a pebbly beach, bring water to the channel that you can bring into the water. It's time to leave paradise and check out one of the coastal towns in the area. We haven't had much food today, so we're going to look for a place to eat some lunch, hang out a little bit. But it's time to leave. Yippee. Yippee. Review? No, I liked it. This is nice. Nice. The water is fresh, clean. We did it. Even though on the way back it's uphill and I sound out of breath, it wasn't as bad as going down, right? Like at least the sun was hidden between the clouds, behind the clouds, and you're wet, so you're refreshed, your body temperature is lower. We made it to Darmi Beach. I think this is like the trendiest and kind of the place to go for like younger people to party. It's set up that way. Right now it's totally dead. It's like the middle of June. So I think like the European like summer season hasn't really kicked off yet. You got the electro vibes going. We're not really looking to party. We're looking for food. So we're gonna walk around a little bit and see what they have. in Havana. Who knew Havana was also in Albania? Oh, 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 oh. That's 
Then it's romanticized everywhere. Turns out there's not much of a town to show you. It's basically, it all revolves around the beach. So it's just like a beachfront with like a bunch of like restaurants, like modern buildings, modern restaurants, and hundreds of like lounge chairs. So we decided that we're gonna eat here because they have food and we're starving. And now from here, we're gonna go back to our town because it's getting late and we don't wanna drive at night. And then we can show you a little bit of our town, which is kind of the same, but it has like a place where you can walk and it's very nice. I was hungry. I supported you with the olives. I don't like olives. I'm the olive man. Olive man. Olive man. Olive man. Welcome to Cheparo. This is our home for six days. Earlier in the video, we called it Keparo and Keparo, but I think it's Cheparo, so we are finally getting it right. When we first got here, I thought I totally messed up in like booking this spot to stay for six nights. But honestly, it's kind of like growing on us. Like this beach area is really nice. There's like tons of restaurants up and down. There's like cute homes on the hills and the beach is obviously beautiful with the beautiful water. The town also has this beautiful waterfront promenade, which is like a kilometer long. You can walk up and down. It's just really nice and relaxed. Like the other towns that we visited on the coast didn't really have this. It was more like touristy with hotels. But this seems to be also like pretty local. Like there's a lot of like people just doing like the late evening stroll or early evening stroll that the Albanians do after dinner. And it's just really chill. It's a lot more like local and relaxed than the other towns we visited. And we are big fans of Cheparo. Cheparo now. We found this lovely restaurant right at the end of the promenade in our little town. So we're gonna have dinner here. I'm sorry if today wasn't like the most exciting day ever. We had a late start because of all the whole like car and bus situation. So we didn't have a chance to do much, but we're gonna make it up to you tomorrow because we're gonna go to a beautiful national park and show you a couple more towns in the Albanian Riviera. We're gonna wake up early and seize the day and do as much as we can because we don't have a car often. So we're, we're gonna milk it. <laughs> 